All right, this video is about uh, some statements that a poster made. Um, name was uh, Jeremy Parnell, right there, um, pertaining to the frog, right here, the frog nearby nuggets and the coin on top of the plastic cases. Um, he was making a statement about that. On the YouTube channel and uh, it says there to the inner any reasonable person would look at the two and see the identical images it talks about intellectual honesty going a long way okay so we're going to take a look at the evidence of the frog nearby nuggets and the gold coin um, being identical images. And, uh, and thanks for your advice, um, Mr. Jeremy Parnell, about the intellectual honesty. Um, going to take that advice uh, in this video and uh, explore the evidence. All right, here we have the uh, high-resolution version of the arrangement of the frog and the nuggets and the coin underneath. Um, this is a 2016 chest photo or the scrapbook 158 photo, whichever you would like to reference it as. Now, this picture is a picture that I took directly from the book that I own of The Thrill of the Chase. Um, as you can see, the the frog, the nuggets, and a coin underneath, positioned underneath uh, one of the, you know, the, the nuggets and the, actually two of the nuggets and the frog. So we're going to do a comparison, basically a, a, a visual comparison of the two to see if they are identical, if one was used to produce the other. So we'll just kind of go back and forth, kind of look and see. You can notice uh, changes in the image. Nuggets positioned differently in each photo. The frog is positioning differently and the uh, coin underneath the frog. Okay, now let's uh, just kind of switch like this. As you can see, if you notice the uh, the right leg of the the frog stays in just about the same spot. Most everything else kind of moves and shifts. If you look at the uh, the nuggets, how they change position, angles, lighting's different. Shadows are different. If you look on the back of the frog, you see the reflection, uh, you know, the lighting. The resolution is different. Um, you can see the differences there. Now we're going to do a uh, comparison. Uh, more detailed comparison here. Um, just look here. You can see that the distance between the frog's right leg and this nearby nugget is different. You can see that uh, the nugget is positioned different. It's a different angle. Lighting's different. Resolution is different. I'm not going to speak of the colors because one is picture and then one is in a book. But it's the positioning, the resolution. That's what's important here. And the, the lighting. You can see this nugget here. Resolution's different. Uh, positioning 
in compare you know in relation to the elongated nugget there is different and right here this little detail here right there you can see the one on the bottom compared to the one on the top This is probably the closest right here between the you know the in a visual comparison but it's not identical it's close but not identical now we kind of look at this nugget right with this one in the book on the bottom they're positioned differently Resolution is different. Lighting is different. Now we look at the elongated uh, nugget there. Kind of look at that one. See the differences there. Resolution, lighting, position is slightly different, but it, I mean, it's close. Okay, we move on to here. There's some uh, dimples or imperfections in the, uh, the nugget there. In relation to the, f the nose of the frog, the golden frog there, you can see it's not the same. They're not positioned exactly the same. See the eye there on the bottom from the book compared to the eye on the top. Resolution's different. Lighting's different. Shadows are different. Positioning is slightly different. Okay, we move on to here. The dragon bracelet is covering the left foot slightly. Interesting enough, there's some discoloration on the left, the tip of the left foot there. I guess somebody could argue that the dragon bracelet was photoshopped out of the picture. But I think that's just simply coincidence. But fair is fair. I'm mentioning it. And we move on to here, where the uh, ring is touching the left, back of the left foot of the golden frog. Interesting enough, I believe he mentioned something, uh, Jeff, Jeremy Parnell mentioned something about this. It's interesting that that uh, somewhat matches up. Uh, claim was that it was photoshopped out. But I think it's just mere coincidence. Um, don't know whether Forrest put that there intentionally or it was just coincidence. Don't know. But if you look at the detail compared to, you know, comparing each one of them, the detail is sharper in the bottom one. That's the one in the book. So the claim is the one on the top was used for the one on the bottom to produce the one on the bottom. The image on the top was used to produce the image on the bottom, which is in the book. So now I move on to the coin that's underneath there. It's positioned differently if it's the same coin. I'm not sure if it's the same coin. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but Regardless of that, it's positioned differently. And look at the eye of the frog there. Slightly different positionings. And the coin image there. So, taking your advice, you know, with the, of the intellectual honesty, um, 
and analyzing the evidence and uh, I guess being honest with myself, my intellectual honesty is telling me that uh, the top image was not used to produce the bottom image. Uh, I believe that's impossible. So, I appreciate your advice on the intellectual honesty, um, and thank you for watching, share, subscribe.